Hey guys, my name is Demas Rizli, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a day to night transition edit like this. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone's doing well and pushing your creative boundaries. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create this day to night transition edit using photos I found on Adobe Stock. So last week, Adobe emailed and commissioned me to create a new edit using assets that can be found on Adobe Stock for their Instagram page. This video is not sponsored by Adobe, but I thought I'd make this YouTube video to show you guys the whole process of how I came up with this edit. So when I first got the brief and started looking on Adobe Stock, I was super confused on what to create. Usually I'm limited to the photos I've taken, so I create edits from that. But on these stock websites, there's just so many possibilities that I just got super confused. So I thought to myself, just pick a city that I've never been to and a place that I've always wanted to go and create an edit from that using techniques I've used in the past. So this day to night transition edit came to mind and I chose Taipei, Taiwan for the city because I've always wanted to go there. To create an edit like this, you don't need stock photos. You can actually just go out and take your own photos. It'll be much easier if you use the tripod, if you shot like a day shot and a night shot. But if you don't want to wait for a long time in between, you can just take two photos at two completely different times without a tripod and try to line it up in the computer. So yeah, let's jump on the computer and I'll show you how I created this edit using Photoshop. All right, so first I'm gonna go on the Adobe Stock website and look for the images I need. I knew that in Taipei, there's this building called Taipei 101, which would be a great focal point for this edit. I looked for a day slash sunset shot, then also looked for a night shot as well. These day to night transition edits usually work best with a vertical landmark in the middle to hide the transition better. So I thought this building would be perfect. All right, let's download these and open them up in Lightroom. Okay, so now we're in Lightroom and the first thing I do is to color grade both images and to try to achieve the colors that I usually like. Even though these photos are JPEGs and not RAWs, we should still be able to play with the tones and achieve what we want. For the day shot, I just tried to make the oranges pop out a bit more and add a bit more color to the sky, as well as straightening and making the photo a bit sharper. Then for the night shot, I made the blues and purples to be more aqua and blue respectively by sliding the hue sliders in the HSL panel. Take your time with this and work on the color grading until you're happy with both images. Color grading is very subjective, so just move around the sliders until you're satisfied with all the colors. Next, we're going to open both images in Photoshop by right clicking and then click edit and then open in Photoshop. When both images are open, the first thing I do is to get both images into the one file. So hit Ctrl or Command A to select all on the night image and then copy and paste it into the day file. So next we want to line up the images so they're both aligned on top of each other. Change the opacity of the night layer to 50% so you can see below. And then use the free transform tool to scale and distort into place. This doesn't have to be perfect, but try to line up the center building as best as you can. Once we've lined it up, change the opacity back to 100%. Next, I crop the image to 4x5 ratio as it will be posted to Instagram. And make sure delete crop pixels is turned off at the top so you can readjust your crop later if you want to make a change. Once you've got your composition, Drag a guideline to the center of the image by pulling on the ruler on the left side. It should snap automatically to the center. If you can't see your rulers, hit Ctrl or Command R. Then with the night layer selected, drag a box on the right half of the image using the rectangular marquee tool and then click the layer mask button. This will hide the left half of the image. Next, I use the gradient tool to help with seeing how it will look like with a smoother transition. To do this, find the gradient tool by long clicking on the paint bucket tool. Make sure the layer mask is selected and then drag a line from the left to the right. The default settings will give a smooth transition throughout, but we want the transition to only happen in the middle. So go to the top left here and click the gradient. I then drag these sliders towards the center until they reach the 40% and the 60% locations. Click OK and then draw the line again. This should give you a smooth transition between day to night. You can also keep tweaking this transition further by using the paintbrush tool. Make sure the layer mask is selected, choose black as the color, right click to adjust your brush size and make the hardness zero, and start erasing. Hit X on the keyboard to toggle the color to white and you can add in what you erase too. You want to take your time with this until you're happy with the look and the transition that you want. For me, I wanted the day to night switch to happen on the corner of the building, but I also wanted a smooth transition for the sky. So that's why I did it this way. All right, so now that we've got a nice smooth transition, I fill in the bottom of the image by selecting a box at the bottom, then going to edit and then content aware scale. Then I just pull the box down while holding shift. Then finally, I tidy up the dark tree areas by again painting on the layer mask with black. Next, I start adjusting the colors some more for both layers. To do this, I use adjustment layers with clipping masks, so it's non-destructive and can easily be changed. First, with the day layer selected, 
click the adjustment layer button at the bottom right and then I pick brightness contrast and then I right click this adjustment layer and click create a clipping mask. This means that only the layer below it will be affected. Then I adjust the sliders and then do the same again by adding hue saturation, color balance and levels adjustment layers too. I then repeat this for the night image as well. Alright now for the finishing touches. I felt that the day image sky needed more clouds and colors so I went back to Adobe stock to look for a sunset sky image. I found this one and then dragged it into the file. I position it under the night layer and then change the blending mode to multiply. Then I use the layer mask to just rub out the hard edges and make it blend nicely with the city and the building. I also added a hue saturation adjustment layer to tweak the colors. Don't forget to also tweak the colors of the day image below it so it matches the sky. Next I went back to Adobe stock to find a photo of stars and I also dropped this into the file. For this I chose the blending mode lighten and again I used the layer mask tool to mask into place. Finally I added one more photo of some birds on a white background to add to the day side and for this I used the blending option linear burn. Position this into place until you're happy with the final composition. Hit file and save and the image should jump back into Lightroom automatically for a final color grade. For this last color grade I wanted to accentuate the day to night transition even more so I dragged in a couple of graduated filters from the left and the right. I made the left side brighter and the right side darker and now we're done. Here are all the befores and here is the after. Make sure to tag me in your Instagram posts or stories if you try this edit out. Alright, I hope you found that tutorial useful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and what you want to learn from me next. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more coming soon, make sure you subscribe. As always, thanks so much for watching. And remember to always push your creativity to the next level. Bye.